Hey guys! Aww. Hello! Welcome to my channel or welcome back. How are you? I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're thinking about coming to San Diego State. That's really cool. I don't even... Let's just get into the video. Today I'm going to be telling you all the pros and cons that I have about San Diego State University. Um, I, um, I'm currently a soft... I'm currently a sophomore and I've learned some things over my two years being here and I thought it would be important for you to know if you're thinking about coming here. Just to know, every school you look at is going to have flaws, every school is going to have pros and cons. For me, on this list, it was hard to come up with the cons, but then again, you should know as much information about a school before you decide to go there, that's what I did at least. So I really hope this is useful and helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to DM me. Here's my Instagram. I'm most active on my Instagram and it's really easy for me to respond there. That's the best place to reach me or you can comment on this video, whatever you want to do. Let's start off on a good note. Let's start with the pro. Let's start with the location. This is an obvious one. Why wouldn't you want to live in San Diego, California? It's not like LA where it's very material girl. Because I lived in LA for a summer and I love San Diego more than LA. The beaches, just the array of things that you can do here. There's opportunities for everyone and something here that can fit anyone's style. Whenever I go home, I'm always looking forward to coming back and I hate leaving. I love San Diego. Now for a con, I would also say the location. Now you might be like, Chloe, you just went on and on about how you love the location. And that is true. I love San Diego, but I don't don't like where the school is located. If you think we're close to the beach, we're not. We're not. It's like a 20, 25 minute drive to the beach. We are in El Cajon. This area is a little sketchy. It's not one of the nicest parts of San Diego. And you are kind of far away from downtown beaches. I mean, it's, it's not a bad drive, but maybe you don't have a car and you have to use like public transportation or something. It's kind of hard to get around if you don't have a car. The next pro is the campus. I mainly picked San Diego State for a campus, and I've said this before, but I hate the architecture of some colleges. I hate the colleges that are like these huge brick buildings and like everything looks very almost old and like professional and sophisticated almost. I'll insert pictures of what I'm talking about. San Diego State, the buildings aren't super big. They're not anything super fancy or special, and that's honestly what I like about it, but I think it creates a more relaxed vibe and doesn't really make you feel the pressure of being at school. I think our campus is so pretty, honestly. When I'm walking around campus and I look around, it makes me happy. All right, the next con that I have is that freshmen can't have their cars. At least that's how it is right now. Me personally, I didn't have to go through this because of COVID. They let us have our cars, but there are ways that people get around. I know freshmen who have more of a life than I do off campus. <laughs> I think it would be way more inconvenient to not have your car, especially since there's not a lot of stuff around the campus area. You would definitely have to drive to go to like a Target or Walmart, even like a grocery store other than Trader Joe's. I mean, Trader Joe's works, but I would have died if I didn't have my car. It's definitely possible, it's definitely doable, but it's a lot of Uber rides, which costs a lot of money. There's public transportation, which isn't the safest. But yeah, it's definitely manageable, but personally, that's a big deciding factor for some reason. I guess it's about time I get into the big debacle that everyone- DEBACLE? I have never used that word in my life. Um, I guess it's time for me to get into the big topic that everyone talks about. A pro for the campus is Greek life, but it's also a con. It's a pro and a con depending on what side of the equation you're on. If you don't know what Greek life is, it's the sororities and fraternities. Um, I don't really know what they do. I was never really interested in them. So I can't give you much information about them. Most of the social life on campus is centered around Greek life. You can't get into parties if you're not in Greek life. Guys can only really party if they're in a frat and they're at their own frat. Girls sometimes have more leeway. If you choose the right party to go to, you can get in. Personally, I don't try to do that a lot, so I can't give you the 411 on all of that situation. But I just know Greek life is very exclusive, but that's where all the parties are. For example, 
For Halloween, you had to have a wristband to get into parties, which you get this wristband from like your sorority or something. I don't know. I don't I don't really know how this works, but you get your wristband from someone in a fraternity or sorority. And then if you don't have a wristband, you don't get in. Uh <sighs> I just don't mess with all of that because I think it's really toxic. If you're planning on going to parties and you want to have a great time, you're gonna have to rush or you're gonna have to find out ways to sneak into parties. This is not to say that you will not have fun if you're not partying and in Greek life and rushing and stuff. I'm having a great time avoiding all of that. Just wanted to put that out there. The next pro on our list is the meal plan. Now, there are pros and cons to this, but I will insert a list of every restaurant that is on our meal plan. The list is huge. <coughs> I had meal plan last year and I used it every single day. We have so many options on our meal plan. I know that I toured schools and they were like, here's a pizza hut, that's all we got. I'm sorry? I cannot live off of a pizza hut. At least make it a Domino's, which we also have. It's not on meal plan, but it's on campus. We have so many options for a meal plan, but I will say the way they split up the money on the meal plan, I have heard a lot of complaints about. Last year, I ended the year with like $200, $300 left over, and I don't think I got that back. I think it just like vanished into thin air and went into a uh, you know who's pocket. I'm sorry, if you already go to SDSU, you probably know who I'm talking about. But I know that they've changed the meal plan since last year. I feel like they're just still trying to figure out the best way to make it right. I will say the way they issue the money is a little because either you run out of money in seconds or you have an excess amount of money. But the places on our meal plan are so, so good. So yummy. Okay, woo! My next con is that I could be wrong, but for me personally, it seems kind of hard to get involved on campus or it's just not super common. There are a ton of clubs and organizations that you could be a part of and I do have an internship type thing that I got myself. It's the type of thing where you have to work for it and you have to search for those opportunities. I remember there was like this club thing at the beginning of the year, but it also just feels like not a lot of people are involved in things on campus unless it's Greek life. You really have to go search for yourself for these opportunities and these different things that you want to do. My next pro is that there's a good education here at SDSU. SDSU is not the easiest school to get into. I believe our acceptance rate is about 33%. I've loved almost all of my classes here. I feel like I've actually been interested in what I'm learning, which is kind of just college because you're actually learning about what you want to learn about but I've been in GE classes which is just like the classes you're required to take and I've been so interested this past semester I took biology world of animals that is not relatively close to my major but I loved it I walk around screaming ocean facts now like Can I quiz you on ocean facts I think we have a really good education. The next con that I have is that it's easy to feel disconnected from campus. I actually got this one from Macy Thompson's video, so I'll link her video down below because I'm basically taking this idea straight from her, but it's what I felt that I couldn't put into words, if that makes sense. I feel like I don't know what's going on on campus. I don't even know. I don't even know how to put it. I feel like there's not a lot of school spirit. I live on campus pretty much, and sometimes there will be stuff going on that I just didn't even know about or things that happen and I see on people's Instagram or Snapchat and I'm like, no one told me this was going on. For example, there was a literal carnival on campus and I just had to see a Ferris wheel and be like, wait, what are we doing? I didn't even know this was happening. It's strange. It's hard to like describe also. My next pro is the price of tuition. Now, I need to preface this. I am fully aware of the cost of this school, of the cost of any school. I'm aware of the concept of money and I am aware about how much college costs. College is just expensive but I will say San Diego State is not unreasonably priced. It is unreasonably priced okay but all colleges are unreasonably priced. I understand that this is a lot of money but in comparison to other schools it is truly way less than I would have been paying. I'm an out-of-state student. SDSU out-of-state tuition is $19,000. 
to show you a comparison, I have written down the four other schools that I applied to and their tuitions that I would have been paying. And some of these are even in-state tuition. So TCU, $51,000. University of Arkansas, $26,000. Loyola Marymount University, I would have been paying $53,000. And for Oklahoma, $27,000. In comparison to all the other schools I was interested in, it's crazy how this is my dream location. This is my dream scenario and I'm paying the least amount of money. The next con is the safety on campus. I would be lying if I said that I feel safe walking on campus at night. There has been a lot of crimes on campus, not that I've seen, but just from what I've heard, there are also homeless people living on campus. Just the fact that the campus is open and anyone's allowed to be there and there's public transportation coming directly to our campus, it's a little unsafe. It's not best to walk alone at night, but it's definitely not the worst situation I've ever been in. There's a lot of lights. There's like these police buttons. I don't even know how to say it, but there's like these blue lights that you can press and it'll call the cops or something if something happens. Okay, now this might just be like, girl, no one cares, but a pro of the school is the gym, what we call the ARC, Aztec Recreational Center. The ARC just got renovated. It opened maybe a couple months ago and it is Oh my gosh, I just burped. It is huge. It is two stories. There's so many racks to lift. There's so many treadmills, so many cardio machines. There's studios for classes. Just like everything is new. It is so nice. This is like probably not a deciding factor for anyone, but maybe it is. Like maybe you're a gym rep. Maybe you're trying to get into it. You want to not gain the freshman 15 which is slightly inevitable. The gym is so nice. That's definitely a pro of this school. Hi, I'm editing, but I just wanted to say that the gym membership comes in your tuition and all the other stuff that you pay for. So technically the gym membership is like free if you're a student, but it's not really free, but it's like technically free and you just get to go there. Okay. One of the cons that I have, like this is very personal to me, but I don't feel like it's easy to make a connection with my professors. This is a really big school. Sometimes you'll have classes with 200, 300, 500 people. A professor can't get to know all of you. It's not in their best interest to really get to know you. They have so many students at once. You're just another face and a name on the roster. And for me, that's really hard because I was the type of kid in high school to make conversation with my teachers. They would come to like my choir concerts and volleyball games. Now it's just kind of like you don't talk to them. They don't really know who you are. They just grade your papers and that's how it goes. I don't love that. Class sizes do shrink as you progress in your grade. My last pro that I have, ending on a good note, is one, I forgot to mention the weather here. Great. Usually doesn't rain. Usually sunny. You know, California, San Diego weather. But also, the campus is a good size in my opinion. I definitely myself would not want a small campus and a big campus would make me not want to go to class more because I would have to walk further to my classes. I personally think that our campus is a really good size. It's easy to navigate. I do know that there's campuses that are a lot bigger than ours and campuses that are a lot smaller. And I think that it's nice and spread out and a good size. It's not unbearable. Whenever you're walking between a class and a class, you get your steps in and it's also really pretty. That is all that I have for this video. Again, if you have any questions, go ask on my Instagram. And if you're looking into San Diego State or if you've gotten in, I do love this school a lot. I know I said a lot of cons, but there are more pros than cons. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more San Diego State videos coming soon. I love you guys. Have a great day today. I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye. Bye.